Hello and welcome. My name's Lindy Smith and I'm a UK cake designer. And today, as part of my Basics of Baking series, I'm going to be showing you how to cover a cake with sugar paste. Now, as you can see, I have a double height cake and I'm going to show you how to create these lovely sharp edges on the very top. So stay tuned to find out how I do it. Once your marzipan has dried, the next thing is to cover the whole surface with some alcohol. This helps you stick the sugar paste and it also sterilizes the surface. So load a nice big brush and paint over all of the marzipan. Now you can use gin, vodka. I'm actually using brandy because that's all I could find in the cupboard. So any type of alcohol works a treat. The next stage is to knead your sugar paste. If you watch me carefully, you'll see that I'm gradually turning the paste as I need it. Now, the idea here is to get it nice and warm and to make all the gum inside the paste stretchy. Once you've kneaded your paste, what you'll need to do is to measure your cake to see how much you need to roll out. So I'm using a bit of string and I'm just going to put it up the side, across the top and down. So I'm going to need that much paste, approximately. So if I move the cake out of the way and put the string onto my board, you can see I'm going to need most of the board itself. But what happens is the paste will actually stretch a little as it goes over the cake. So I actually won't need quite so much. So I won't need to have the full width of my board. I'm just going to re-knead so that the paste is warm, or to, rather to ensure it's nice and warm still. I'm creating a lovely smooth surface on which I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll an oval shape. I'm going to pick it up, roll it back to a circle, and then into an oval again. Trying to roll as evenly as possible. What you'll find is you will be stronger on one arm than the other, and you tend to press down more with that arm. So try and keep your rolling as even as possible. Now I'm going over the rolling pin. Now you'll notice I've got two pink spacers either side of my paste here and that's so that the paste remain or doesn't get any thinner than five millimeters. So eventually as I roll it'll hit the spacer and I won't be able to roll up anymore. Another trick is to just, even if you want to keep rolling in this direction, it's just to pick it up a little bit and place it back down. You don't want it to stick to your surface. Now I've used some white fat, some treks underneath my sugar paste. So I've smeared this board with white fat. You can use icing sugar 
although I stopped using that many years ago because of all, all the problems it can create. But you now can buy mats that don't need anything at all. So if you've got one of those, I suggest that's what you use. Another thing that's important is a large rolling pin, a non-stick one, like the one I'm using here. Ideally, I'd need one slightly longer, but I'm being careful as I roll. So it's almost the right thickness. Once you've rolled out your sugar paste, pick it up over the rolling pin, bring in your cake and paste and approximately halfway. Now if it's not quite right you can always just pick it up like this and reposition if you need to. What you need next is a smoother and you just go over the top making sure there's no air bubbles trapped and then you want to protect this top edge because if it's going to tear the sugar paste will tear along this edge so use your hand the warmth of your hand just to ease the paste in and then what you're going to do is gradually work down the side of the cake to get rid of all the pleats and the way you do that is pull out a pleat and then push the paste into the cake and then up you don't want to push down because you'll tear the paste so gradually on the ground. Keep the paste warm by rubbing it. Stop it crusting over. Once you've reached the bottom, and it looks a bit like a hat, then you bring the smoother in. It's got to be roughly smooth, it doesn't need to be perfect at this stage. It's going to work on the size, keeping them straight, etc. in a little bit. But here, what I'm going to do is show you how to cut away this excess. So I'm hoping the camera can see that in this one. Uh, I'm going to put the smoother about five mil, three to five mil away from the cake, and I'm going to push in and down. This takes a little bit of practice, but over the years I've found this is what works best. Now, the reason I do that is if I just cut, got a knife and cut around here, you'd end up with a bald patch the bottom of the cake you need to press paste into the base of the cake so you can once you've done a little bit oops that wasn't intentional don't worry if you make a mistake like that everything can be covered up the first rule of cake decorating is learn to cover up or disguise your mistakes so, a little bit of smoothing for my hand, and like this goes. When you press, you're pressing all the way down to the board. Now I've got this cake sitting on a board, it's a cake board, covered in wax paper and it means that the cake won't stick, it means I can take it off the wax paper quite easily. And this extra bit here, just put the pipe knife underneath and remove these bits. I'm going to take two smoothers now to work on the sides of the cake. 
before I turn it over to do the top edge. Now years ago, we always had nice smooth rounded edges like this, but the trend right at the moment is to have sharp edges. So I'm going to show you how that's obtained. I'm just making sure there's no air bubbles under the icing, smoothing out any imperfections I can see that I can need work. got is the board that I've covered in wax paper so it's exactly the same as the base I'm going to place that on top and I'm going to invert the whole thing like that and then bring this around over here I'm going to just slowly work the icing down to the board. So it's just encouraging the icing down to make a 90 degree angle with the board. This spot I've got a little bit of air trapped, so I've just used my scriber and push out the air. Like so, make sure it's all gone. Really so anytime you see an air bubble, simply pop it, push out the air, and then you'll be fine to go. all the way around now. So what I'm going to do is just slide my move around and then take my palette knife and when I push paste and it's gone quite a little bit there, a little bit extra, just cut that away. adjusted. Excess paste. Smooth the top. And then I want to just check my sides now so I'm using a I'm going to use two smoothers. You can do it like this. Whatever works for you. Now when you push in the paste this way sometimes the straight sides come a little uneven, so stand back and look at your cake and see if you need to adjust at all. So we've got a turntable, that's another good way of checking just by spinning. 